Hey everyone, Pie Nation here, and welcome to another episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we did some things for the Kikui Elder, and we looked for his other Kikui brethrens. And, um, excuse this interruption here, because every time you restart the game, it does this thing where it tells you what you picked up. Anyways, back on subject, we're going to go see the Kikui Elder now, and see what we can do to help him out more and if he can help us out so let's make our way there in the meantime I got a lot of things to talk about first of all I'm glad that right now I have study leave because I'm using this time for study leave for basically recordings um, so that's the time I'm recording this episode at at least um, so I have a little bit of time to do some recordings um, with my Super Mario 64 Let's Play, got two more episodes on that to go. One will be released soon, and I would like to do the final episode in a very special way, so I won't have it like a montage type thing, like the previous one slash the next one coming out. Because yes, the next one's going to be just um, the next course, but sped up, mainly because of um, how irritating it is to get the headset to work in the way I want it to work. But anyways, it's working now. Kui, so my fellow Kikwis are well, and they want me to stop worrying. Ha, excellent. They know me too well. You have a real talent for finding whatever is missing, Kui. I don't know who you are or where you come from, but have the, my thanks. Kui, <laughs> I have, I feel much less worried now I believe I just remembered. <clears throat> Where the, that young lady went? That young girl, Zelda, was that her name? Yes, it, it's all coming back to me. She said she had to travel to the temple deep within these woods, Kui. Oh, I tried to warn her about how dangerous it was there. But the clever little thing uh, vaulted off my belly and ran off on her own just the same. Yep, sounds like her. So she went over that way past these guys here. I think he, she's headed down that way toward the temple queer. What else? I almost forgot queer. As a reward for finding all my fellow Kikwis, I will give you a precious Kikwi heirloom. Let me fetch it for you. When he means fetch it, he means try and crush us by billy flopping. Okay, so let's grab this. You got that thing! You got the slingshot! Yay! Well, now we can just fire things at things. That sounds great. Anyways, basically what we can do is we can shoot seeds at things. That sounds even better. But, um, like, you can use it to stun enemies or push them off things. Or you can use it to grab ropes. Like, they're curled up like that and have weird physics. <clears throat> But I know a little trick. If I haven't showed it off already, but um, I'll go do it now. If you just um, roll into the tree, the rope comes down just the same. And it saves you a seed. And. Uh, of course I miss. Damn it, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, guys. Anyways. Um, I'm pretty sure up there. Where we got the piece of heart. Um, it was just a, a b b amber relic thing now. <clears throat> um, I have never gotten that goddess cube whoops, up there before. Oh, wow! Now I know how to get it. Oh my goodness. My first playthrough of this, I never got that. I never knew how to get that goddess cube. Um, but now I just spotted something that will help us get that later. So, yeah. We'll have a look at that later. 
Anyways, let's go around here, try and avoid these enemies, because it's not like you need to level up or anything, it's not one of those type of games, it's not an RPG. Um, yeah, let's save here, because I'm pretty sure I won't have any more recording issues. Mega Man, Mega Man, you can save right here! Okay, so let's save. Uh, yep, save. Or at least I hope I have no recording issues. Oh, well, I guess we'll find out if this recording makes it or not. Okay, sadly, this time around, we actually do have to use the slingshot. Well, not sadly. I like this thing, but... It's... It, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Mega Man, Mega Man, you just shot this vine to make it into something you can swing off. Congratulations! <sighs> Half this text is useless, and it doesn't stop either. It continues for pretty much the whole game. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> now, I'm not sure if I was halfway through a sentence before I got interrupted talking about my other Let's Plays. Was I? I don't know. What? What was that? Oh no. I don't feel too good. Anyways, here we go. Okay, yes, we discovered the deep woods. Um, you don't need to zoom in every time we s discover something. Please go away. Thank you. Mega Man, Mega Man, there's plants here. So let's continue around. Here's some more moblin things. Let's just take them out. What this place? A bee? Go away, bees! Go away! Best way to just, uh, just ignore those bees for a bit. And then, um... Basically what will happen is they'll just get bored with you. And stuff like that. But what I want to do is... I want to go all little busters on this. And take down that hive. I said take down the hive! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't want to get close to it. Okay, um... Uh, oh, whoops, wrong button. You wanna then... Ah, oh, actually I don't wanna do this right now. Anyways. Um... So I forgot that I'm missing an item that I should actually have gotten by now. But I didn't because I'm dumb like that. Anyways, let's continue through the woods. Come around here. There's no way you would have survived that one. Okay. Ooh! Eh. Run away! Okay, they're gone. Sweet. I'm pretty sure even if you do knock their nest down, um, they will come and chase you anyways. Uh, but now that the nest is gone, well, hive, not nest, is, um, gone, they won't be coming back. And let's just come across these tight ropes. Beat the crap. Oh, come on, there we go. Come up here. Come up here. And if we come all the way through here, we can push this log down and we have a shortcut to coming here whenever we want. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So I saw that Goron dude over there, so let's go have a look at see what he's staring at. Oh my gosh, why is it working? Oh no! No! 
No. I would. I don't get why it didn't work. I was swinging the nunchuck. Ah, oh my goodness. Pose and ways. That's what it is. Pose and ways. Uh, uh, put the sword away, Link. Oh my gosh. Um. So now what you can do is now that we have a slingshot, we can now ah. Uh, yeah. We can now shoot these little green spiky things off, stopping us from falling. And if we shoot him... You can see that we stun the enemies for a little bit, and once they come out of stun, they just get all aggressive at you. But he's going to try and walk across this tightrope here, and he's going to be like, oh, I'm going to get you! I'm going to get you! I'm going to get you, man! I'm going to get you! And we're going to be like, nope. I said nope. Yeah. That's how cool we are. We, we, we put moblins down holes, because why not? Anyway, let's just come across this tightrope. Man, there's not much to talk about in this part of the game. But yeah, anyways, lately I've been playing through a few games that I'm thinking I might let's play at some point, just because they're that good. Um, I've been playing through Destiny for the past couple of days. Um, so yay. Yay, Deku Seeds! Um, Destiny's really cool, I love it. And I've also been playing through Xeno Gears, um, which is the first one out of the Xeno series, like Xenoblade and stuff. And who knows, maybe I'll let's play that at some point. It's a cool game, I love it. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> oh, let's go and save quickly. Okay. Oh, I'm yawning a lot. This is not good. I should have drunk something like fizzy or something. And sprint off the edge. Grab the rope. Jump! Make it! Yay! Oh, I hate those golden ones. Hey. Hey. Anyways, uh, this thing here is called a goddess cube. This is the first one you could possibly get in the game. Unless you could find a way to glitch to get some really uh, uh, annoying ones later, which I would love to know. Um, but to get these goddess cubes, you look into the sky with your sword. And strike it. And what's going to happen is going to be like... Pew! And it goes into the sky and it just comes back later. Whoa, did you see that, dude? He didn't say that, but I was. <clears throat> Tell you a little bit, though. But yeah, uh, with those ghost cubes, they will, um... You may have seen some chests around Skyloft that were, um, like, you couldn't open them. Um, these, uh, goddess cubes open them up, basically, and you can go grab them see what's inside of them. And there's quite often a lot of useful things in them, so I recommend getting them. Um, okay, so, let's go... Oop! <sighs> Mega Man, Mega Man, you should look for Zelda. Looks like we're near the temple. Oh, look, there's the temple. I should probably stop saying the Mega Man, Mega Man thing, but it is actually pretty funny. No, I don't want anything to do with any more tutorials. Don't feel embarrassed. Fear is natural. <laughs> I actually didn't read what she said, so I'm not sure what that question was. I'm starting to regret the choice that I made. <sighs> um, okay, so let's go up to Skyloft quickly and grab some things, and I'll meet you guys back up at Skyloft. I need you know, you guys can just watch what happens. I'm sure you guys won't mind, I hope. Ah, well, too bad. Yay! Come here, Lothwing! Oh, 
When you hit the ghost cube, it's go to strike and uh, I guess we can go collect those now as well before we end the episode off. Just because we're here, why not? Okay, so um, the first place is actually we will go check them out on the way back to the surface. Um, so. For now, let's just go to the actual Skyloft area. Kaka. <laughs> okay, there we go. We're back at Skyloft now. And there's the Bizarro. Um, Let's see here. Do you want to look out for Beetle Ship? He should be around here somewhere. Up, oh, I hear it. I hear it. Where is it? Ah, there you are. Because now that we have an item that can hit things, we can now hit this bill. On beetle ship there. Grab this rope. I said grab the rope. Thank you. And take forever to get up to this place. Let go. Go into deer. Okay, how much rupees do we even have? 87. I hope that's enough. I think it's 80 we need. Oh. Oh. You may recognize this uh, character, Beetle, from other Zelda games such as uh, Minish Cap and um, uh, what you call it, Wind Waker. Oh! Sadly, no Hoi peers in here. 50 rupees. Yeah, I can do that. Ba 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 ba! We got the bug net. Now we can catch bugs. Thank you. Thank you. That's like the only voice acted thing in this game. Um, he has a bed here that you can sleep on and do stuff later. Uh, but yeah, it's not too much here really. Kind of reminds me of the place in Luigi's Mansion with that little thing there. Ah well, let's get out of here. Okay, so let's jump down and let's go grab those chests now now that we got the net So that was pretty much all I wanted to get here Um, And these chests should hopefully give us something useful. So the first one we're going to go to is this one here And I'll meet you guys there do, 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 do. Take a dump, 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 dump on the toilet, lit, lit. It smells really bad. Kaka. Okay, here we go, peoples. Now, if we. Ugh, there we go. If we land onto the top of the pumpkin patch. Pretty sure it's on top. That didn't sound wrong at all, by the way. Uh, no, it's not this one. Where is it then? Um, ah, there it is. It's the one on the ground this time. Uh, I think I've done that a few times with a couple of playthroughs of this. Anyways, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Got the thing! Doesn't go so well with this music, but... Ah, oh well. We got the another adventure pouch, which adds another circle to it. So we can hold one more item. Um, so now I will go and meet you at this area over here so hey hey go away so meet you guys over here oh, okay we're back and let's grab this chest
piece of heart. Two more to go. So now let's just jump off here. And I'll meet you guys at the surface where we'll end the episode off. So I'll see you guys in a minute there. Okay, we're back. So guys, I think that's enough for this episode. My time is at 23 minutes. I might do another episode later on today, but oh uh, well. Um, so in the next episode, we will explore the forest temple and see what's going on in there. And I don't know, maybe we'll find Zelda. So until then, see you guys next time.